Hey there, welcome back to another video. My name is Sharfi Venus, and today we are going to do another video about data binding. This time we are exploring data binding with recycler views. All right, so if you remember in a previous video we did about diff utils with the recycler views, we created that example. If you can see here, we have something like a person adapter. This is the ID of the person. I don't know its name or something. And just an age or something here okay so basically this is a recycler view to show the example we have the class of person here id name and age we have a person adapter we created this person adapter using diffutil if you can remember here's the diffutil callbacks so we want to use data data binding in this example we want to get rid of this five view by ids and setting the text manually all right so First thing to do is all as always you have to go to the build grader file and enable data binding like that this line and always add the plugin of Kotlin capped that's the first thing the second thing we have to convert the layout we want into a data binding layout so what layout we want to change we want to change the item person layout this layout if you can check it it contains a text view for the person ID for the person name and for the person age we used just a random string here to express the random name okay it doesn't matter because just we want to show an example so let's go first thing we have to convert this layout into data binding layout. as always go here or here or here and just press alt with enter convert to data binding layout just like that great we want to pass a model for this class which is basically just the person okay if you can see here in the person adapter we are using the person where is the item yeah it's person with age name and id so let's pass that person here as a variable variable let's call it person and here type of person choose this one now here we want to change the text where is the text okay there is no text let's add text okay this is the person id so we want to choose person id but since id is a is an int we have to convert it into a string so let's put string dot value of and otherwise the application will crash all right let's copy this line from here for the name the same thing we just convert into name but this is already a string so we can delete this string value of like that and finally we can always paste this here this is the age so we want to use the person age okay now we are done here now we have to work on the adapter itself so basically we want to change this the creation of the view holder okay so the person view holder now is accepting a view we want to change that in order to accept the binding object okay great so change that let's create a private variable also here uh, let's call it binding and its name will be what always item person binding okay item person binding that's the first thing now this recycler view view holder abstract class this is an abstract class it requires a view okay so you can basically pass this binding here and you have to type root because root the root of the layout is a view also the root of the layout basically means just that here is the root of the layout okay this is the root let's continue so we fixed here now in order to to delete all that when we bind the item person just do binding dot person no person this one equal to our item okay you can also change this naming into a person if you want to nice that's all you need to do here in the person view holder now the creation of the binding here the work will be okay so basically we want to create it we have several ways to create a binding layout okay so basically you can use the constructor of item person bind item 
person binding dot inflate you can use that okay you have just to pass the layout inflator you have to pass layout inflator you can just copy that here is layout inflator okay and you have to pass the view group and if you attach it to the root or not pass this two okay now we created we created the binding we can use file binding equal like that and then use this binding here that's it you can always align the variable like that here so you can get rid of this line and basically you are good to go let's rerun the app nothing will happen in the app but we changed many things here let's see and everything is working correctly okay so no crash nothing so let's check the logs hopefully nothing yeah nothing is here so you can create it like that or you can also use the data binding util as always to inflate something okay here you have to do the inflation all right so you have to give it the type of the binding class which is item person binding and here you have to give it the inflator the layout id the parent and whether to attach to the parent or not or the root or not so you can basically copy this line here and you need the layout which is r dot layout dot item person the parent which is and false this way you can pass this instead of this okay now it infers the type from the constructor here so we can delete this thing and everything will work as expected i personally love the first one this one this is much better and less verbose okay so everything is working correctly i hope you understood the idea so i hope you enjoyed the video and learn how to do recycle views with data binding as this example is simple just to bind binding person with person class it can become more complicated and data binding is for that so thank you very much for watching the video and see you in the next videos